What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the super portable mini projector, the LG Mini Beam Nano. For its size, the Mini Beam Nano has an impressive set of features including wireless screen share, USB plug and play, HDMI connectivity with MHL support, and a built-in battery. The Nano is super lightweight and portable, so it will fit into your jacket pocket or a backpack without any problems, so you can take this literally anywhere. This projector can create some unique opportunities like setting up a variety of family nights outside, set up a little family drive-in theater in your front yard, or instead of relying on a huge projector being present in a classroom or an office, you can just take this with you and boss a quick and professional presentation. If you're looking for an ultra portable projector, then this could be a great option. The projector has a glossy white plastic finish with an array of ports, including a power port on the side with a grille fan design on three of the sides, the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, HDMI with MHL support, the off and on switch, a USB 2.0 port, a focus dial, and a list of supported logos on the side, including DivX and Dolby Digital Plus, and of course, the bulb itself, which is rated at 100 lumen brightness with a resolution of 854 by 480. I really would have liked to see 720p resolution on this projector, but for its mini size, it looks surprisingly good. It can project up to 100 inches, but due to the lower resolution, I suggest keeping it a bit smaller for optimal clarity. This is an LED illuminated system and LG claims it is good for 30,000 hours of lamp time. Wow. There is a small navigation knob or nub on the right top corner and that also doubles as a power and sleep button. Just push the switch on the back to the on position and hold down the knob and it just fires up. It only takes about 10 to 15 seconds to boot up and then it's ready to go. Here's an example of the navigation and the menu system. It's pretty simple. You have control over the picture, the brightness, the colors, and the interface is pretty simple. If you don't wanna do things manually, you can just pick from the preset picture options here. For most of the settings features though, you will need to use the remote that's included. There are a couple of ways you can connect to this projector and they are all super simple. The easiest way to connect is via Mirrorcast or wireless screen share. If you have a supported device, you will see the option to share as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network and only takes a few seconds and now you are mirroring what's on your smartphone right to the projector. So you can do everything that you usually do on your smartphone. You can play movies, TV shows, share your photo library, and even play games if you want, but there is a slight lag there so it could be an issue for some intensive games. For a lag-free experience, you can use a slim port to HDMI connector like I have here with HDMI 1.4 support and it works flawlessly. This is going to be the best way to play your games on this projector for there's absolutely no lag and paired with a Bluetooth controller, this is a winning combo. What's nice is you can also use the USB port on the back with a thumb drive to access files, playback movies, and I think this is the most convenient way, especially if you're planning to take this outside or on a camping trip or use it for business reasons. Unfortunately, if you're using an iPhone, there's really no wireless connectivity that is compatible, but if you pair this with a Chromecast, this can be a great option for you for you'll have some wireless compatibility here so you can cast your YouTube videos and your media as long as it's compatible with the Chromecast. What's great is in my usage so far, I have not seen any kind of issues with the audio and syncing. There is a one watt built-in speaker and it's usable for sure, but it's not the loudest, so unless you are in a quieter environment, you won't be able to rely on it solely, so use the 3.5 millimeter audio jack to get better sound from it like the LG Music Flow portable speaker system, or rely on your HDMI connected peripheral that may have Bluetooth built in to get external sound. Native Bluetooth support would have been sweet, but maybe on the next generation. The picture quality is pretty impressive for its small size of projector and it's definitely got decent contrast and some nice colors, but naturally all of this will degrade a little bit when you make this screen size bigger. The one feature that I absolutely love on this is the auto keystoning feature and no matter where you point it, just wait a few seconds and it will automatically adjust and this is super convenient for this is super portable so moving it around all the time you'd have to manually adjust this keystone and this is an absolute perfect feature. As far as battery life goes, you should be fine with a normal length movie 
but the battery is rated at two hours, but of course it will depend on the level of brightness that you have this projector. Longer movies that are past an hour and a half or hour and 15 minutes, you may have problems getting through the entire thing. Watching a couple episodes from your favorite YouTuber or catching up on a couple episodes of a TV show on the go, you should be fine. Overall, this is a great option if you're looking for a super portable mini projector. It has plenty of ports, wireless screen share, a built-in battery, and a USB port, and the operation is nice and quiet. You can hear the projector while it's in use, but it will not disrupt the movie or content that you are watching. While this product is not meant to be a main projector for the best picture quality, but it's made for people that want versatility and the ability to take this projector anywhere. I have enjoyed my time with this projector and I'll be showing you some cool things you can do with this projector in another video, so I will leave that link below for you to check out. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the review of the LG Mini Beam Nano. And if you have any questions, please follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific and ask me any questions there or just leave a comment below. Slap that like button real quick. Subscribe for a lot more cool videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.